Hello everyone, it's Leo, and it's time to talk about Sailor Moon Eternal. We finally have some more images, actually new images leaked, and they're not exactly new, but they're better quality than we've seen before. So we have this collaboration from Sailor Moon Eternal with Buffeting, and we see the image... Okay, I'm gonna rant a lot in this video, keep up with me, I'm sorry. But we have this image of Sailor Moon Eternal that we've seen two thousand times in the past week if we count all the times that we saw this image since it was released we saw it like three million times three trillion times or something the rant is gonna come later but anyways the buffering website was updated but it was quickly deleted and we were able to see the outer senshi in high quality well the thing is they are releasing lots of merchandise and they're releasing this line of makeup, which is very nice. Let's take a look at it. I just love it. I don't use makeup. I would like to use makeup, but I don't. And um, I would love to have all of this, even though I don't use makeup, just because it's very beautiful. Just look at the packaging of the sailors. I really love this art. The promo art, the way they have for each character is very beautiful. But the thing I'm angry about is that they only have one promo art for each girl uh, it's sailor moon toy animation where is the budget and uh sailor moon and sailor chibi moon they have different promo arts they have two each and the others they all have one so every image we see from sailor moon eternal it's the same image but look even though it's the same image the packaging is very beautiful and we were able to see lots of beautiful packagings and arts and everything but there was this art down here that I really wanted to see in high quality because it was kind of like the first look at the outer senshi in a colored way in a good quality as well because we have already seen this. Um, not th This is the, the one that leaked, but we are going to take a look at this. We saw this, which is clear files for all of the girls, as we can see here. And those images are the same images. They're just colored in a different way to look more manga-ish, manga style or pastel style. So yeah, the same image. And from the outers, the same image as well. Let me hide myself. The same image as well. This is very upsetting. This is very upsetting. I'm sorry. You know, we want to see something new. We want to see more stuff. But anyways, this was the image that was leaked in the Buffeting website. And I'm very happy nonetheless because the image is pretty. We see the five girls here that we've already seen before and Chibi Moon that we've already seen before. We've seen this in the first trailer of the movie, but we haven't seen the outers. I mean, we saw the outers in those l very low quality images. Uh, we have more. We have this one as well. We saw them for the first time, I think. And as I said, I really love the style, this this more like manga-ish style, but it's very upsetting that they only use this pose and this image for everything Sailor Moon Eternal concer uh, concerned. Uh, and we've, we saw this before, and now we are able to see this in high quality in this image. You know, it's not the best quality in the world, but it's still a very good quality. And I just have to say that I love this. I really do love how the outers are looking at the, in this new style. It's the first look we have at them in, in high quality and better quality. And I really, really like it. And I'm not really sure if they're going to appear in the first movie, probably only in the second. But the second movie is one month after the first. So I think that they can do promo for both of them together. They have no idea why they're holding on to their images for so long. And... Another thing that's important to think about, those images are being shown firsthand in collaborations with like buffeting. Why aren't they showing it high quality in the official website, in an official review, maybe do a character profile on the movie official website? I don't know why they're not doing it. This, this makes me so angry. But yes, this is our first look at the girls. We've, we've already seen the inner senshi, Sailor Moon and Sailor Chibi Moon we've already seen as well. But now we can see the outers and, you know, I think they are looking very, very pretty. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is Michiru's hair. Unfortunately, Michiru's hair seems shorter than I would like. Even though it still looks very beautiful the way it is now, 
it's kind of short as if we c if you can look at like this part down here it's kind of short and i would like for it to be way bigger there is one image that i absolutely love which is sailor moon crystal season three blu-ray let me see if i can find it the blu-ray cover of this one this image of sailor neptune this is probably one of the most beautiful Sailor Neptune images I have already seen. And I love when her hair is big like this. It's huge and it's full of volume. I really like this. But unfortunately, in um, in this itineration of Sailor Moon, uh, sh her hair doesn't seem to be that long. It's, it seems to be very short. But it's full of volume, which is something I love. So I'm not... I, yeah, Okay, I'm, I'm not really complaining. I'm just comparing the two. And I would love for her hair to be way bigger. But it's very wavy. It's very sea-like. So I, I'm still giving it a thumbs up. Because she looks awesome. And all of them, you know, all of them look incredible. And I'm going to hide myself here again. Because in here we can see Sailor Pluto has the key belts and i'm not really sure if super sailor pluto has the the key the key belt that uh, sailor pluto is using here but i love the key belts and i love this touch so i really hope they keep it on the movie i don't know why i just love it i just think it's awesome um so we've had those new images no this is the last thing okay so now let's talk about sailor saturn so sailor saturn in the manga as we can see here she has purple or silver-ish. Like, it's that tone of silver that is kind of purple. You know, it's kind of like Cure Moonlight. If you know Precure, you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of Cure Moonlight-ish. So we have her with the earrings that are purple slash silver and her brooch, which is also purple, right? What they did in this new itineration is kind of change the colors a little bit. And I've seen some people complaining on Twitter, which is now she has gold earrings and like the upper part is gold and the lower part is silver. And her brooch is a very, very light tone of purple. It's like a lilac tone. It's white-ish. It's almost white. It doesn't get to white but it's almost there so you know the coloring of Sailor Saturn has changed a little bit if we compare uh if we compare it to her manga itineration you know I don't really see this as a problem I think she looks pretty this way as well I love it but it's just a change that we I'm just mentioning here just uh just for the sake of the conversation, you know. So we have this those little changes in Sailor Saturn. This is another image that was there in the buffeting website, which wasn't supposed to be up yet, but they probably, you know, it happens a lot. Uh, we Precure fans know that it, sometimes it slips and it ends up there in the website and we're able to see it firsthand without it actually being there anymore. Uh, so in here we have another image of Neptune, which, uh, I mean, she is way, way, way prettier, like, than anyone else. Like, she is one of the most beautiful anime characters we have in the world, right? And as I said, I would love for her to have this hair, but she does look amazing with this kind of hair as well. It's just short, but it's pretty. It is still pretty. It's still chic and, you know, powerful as she is, you know, I really love Neptune. She is one of my faves and she just looks out of this world and incredible, in, 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 incredible. But let's just rant a little bit now. One thing I, I'm not understanding is how Toy is working with the promotion for Sailor Moon Eternal. Look, we know, we, we've, we knew that this movie was coming out for quite a while. We had a trailer with the character designs and then we had nothing. And then we had a new trailer after a long time passing. The movies have been postponed. We totally understand it. The fact is, there is a lot of merchandise. If you go to the official website, official Sailor Moon website, where is it here? Uh, if you go to the official website, there is tons of merchandise coming out from the movie lots and lots and lots of merchandise and what makes me very angry about this is that they're using the same image for 
all of the merchandise that's coming out. They have two different images or like maybe three because in here we at least have this silhouette of Moon and Chibi Moon transforming. Like that's the only different thing that we have. And Sailor Moon has those two different images of her and she, she and Chibi Moon are the only ones that have two different versions of themselves to be used in merchandise. And the rest, same image for everything. And I don't know if they're trying to do this to create a unity between everything. I really don't know if that's the case, but I don't think it's working because I see people tired of the same image over and over and over and over again. Because as I said, there are lots of merchandise. And when when Toy is releasing a new Precure season, for example, we see lots of merchandise coming out and we are able to see lots of different official images of the characters in different merchandise. We see them in different poses, we see them in different ways. And like the first wave of merchandise already brings us that. And with Sailor Moon, it's not like, like what is Toy Animation thinking? I know Sailor Moon is a very highly think a IP and it's probably very hard to use it, but you know, Toy Animation is the owner together with Naoko. You know, they can work on it in a different way than, they, than they're doing it with this movie. And I love the art of Sailor Moon Crystal. I really do. And Sailor Moon Eternal, I really do. The anime has lots of animation problems and everything, but the arts are very beautiful. And they really should try to bring something different because they are doing the same thing over and over again. I cannot with it anymore. I just cannot. You know, I just had to rant a little. This is something that's been that's been bothering me for quite a while. So I just had to get it out of my system. But anyways, we have those beautiful artworks of the outers in high quality now, and I'm very happy to see them like that. In a, in a buffering collaboration, nonetheless, but it's still a new image and I just love it. Anyways, guys, that was it. Please leave a comment with what you're thinking about the promo of Ceremony Eternal, the same images being used over and over again, and what, you, what are your opinions on those new images. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye-bye.